Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. We're back with our next installment of the Premier League Team of the Year. Yeah, so we're going to do the left back now because we just did the right back. So the left back of the year was Danny Rose of Spurs. I don't personally agree with it, but uh, we'll get into that now in a second. Anyways. Yeah, I completely agree. I, I don't know how a player that's played 18 games, like we said in the right back about Seamus Coleman, yeah. how he can be in as the Premier League left back of the year. He's played less than half a season. Yeah, again, that's like I said with uh, with with the hair, like ability wise, probably at the moment he's, he probably is the best. Yeah. But uh, I just don't think he uh, he's he's played enough games to, to be the, the left back of the season. Um, as we as far as our contenders go, I mean we've got um, Alonso from Chelsea, uh, Stephen Ward off Burnley, Leighton Baines. Leighton Baines, um, happy with that one are you? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> And uh, Ryan Bertrand off Southampton as well. So yeah, um, I suppose I would, I would, yeah. As you're saying, Rose is definitely the best left back in the Premier League, by I'd say uh, quite a bit. Um, and over the last two seasons, anyway, he has been. But yeah, less than half the games played in the season, straight off the list for me. Um, there's not, there's no shadow of doubt there. Um, the next one you're looking at, Marcus Alonso. Uh, I, I, I rate him I think uh, I think he's got a lot of bad press and uh, I, although he came in maybe as a shock sign I think he could, could potentially be up there for one of the signings of the season because he's been very reliable most scored definitely some, scored some vital goals he even scored again tonight uh, against Middlesbrough yeah he's, he's he has scored in some, some big games for him he's just added something different he, for me he doesn't even look like a left back he's, he's just, but yeah. he's a smashing smashing player going forward he seems like uh, he's one of those players that like the managers love. Like you know the way certain managers love players, like the way Mourinho has this thing for Fellaini. Yeah. And stuff like that. Like I think that Alonso definitely suits Conte and uh, their style. He's just yeah yeah for me uh, he he probably be my my pick. You have to give it to him as well. He's like he uh, went off. He's was relegated with Bolton. Was he relegated with the Bolton yeah, team? He, went to he was yeah. went to Fiorentina. Came back. Was relegated with Sunderland again. I think. Or he might have just stayed up at Sunderland. So he's 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 seen the bottom of the league and he's now looks like he's yeah he's definitely got, reaped, got the top reaped, reaped the rewards that were going down and yeah applying his applying his trade and he's really learned and he has looked very bright going forward. Um, Baines is probably one that's in and about there as well. He's he's definitely he's al he's always up around the top. He's al he's always one of the main creators and uh, he's picked penalties as well. So he's in and around the goals yeah. normally. So uh, and free kicks as well. But uh, of late he hasn't really been on free kicks. But he's just so good. Like, yeah, he he's is. So technically gifted that like he gets overlooked a lot over over recent years. And he was just kind of I think when Baines was in his prime, when he was like running up and down the line, he doesn't do it as much because Coleman would do it on the other wing. Yeah. Him, but go like he was just unfortunate that Ashley Cole was around the time when he was around. Yeah. I think that because he he really did. Uh, he actually had better attacking stats than Ashley Cole, but I think Ashley Cole was a better defender. But Baines is. The best the defensive stats is none of us. Uh, he's I think he's the only defender who hasn't had a mistake leading to a goal this year as well. Yeah, he's he's um him and Bertrand is the same. Bertrand hasn't hasn't had an error either, but I think Baines he hasn't had his best season, but he's still up there he's, with one he's, of the he's best. He's definitely improved defensively. Yeah, the defensively. Ever to Everton fans I mean, in terms of going improved. forward, he has kind of sat back. Um, a as I say, he doesn't more, need yeah. to anymore because the way the way Cumin has set up, up. Yeah. But but uh, now since since Coleman's out, yeah. you can see the difference in our play. Like the the fullbacks aren't really getting forward as much, and Holiday hasn't done much. Anymore. Yeah, and another one then, Ryan Bertrand. Yeah. Played his trade at Chelsea onto Southampton. He just Champions looks like he's League improving. Way. Yeah, he looks like he's improving, improving, improving. Yeah, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have him at the at the top of the pile just yet. I think he he'll be, I think he can go go and improve and, and maybe get a move to a bigger team soon yeah. enough. I don't think this season, but maybe season after. Get kind of like Klein when he went to uh, to Liverpool. Um, he probably would be I've, a, I've, a wouldn't be a bad show for Liverpool. Replace that, that little well, yeah, James Miller little, back there. Yeah, well, yeah, he's more he's a midfielder. Let's, I know, let's but to, to replace yeah, he, James Miller, what I'm saying. He hasn't been too bad himself, uh, Milner. In fairness, uh, no, probably uh, definitely an audible mention. Um, yeah, I think, I, I think he had quite, six six pen, uh, six goals, but they were all penalties, and he missed he missed one yesterday. He's quite versatile, uh, but yeah, that was his first in 13, 13 penalties. That was his first one yeah. missing for Liverpool. He's and as far as for the there, and he's not been bad going forward. He is a good mention. 
Yeah. One of the ones I really wanted to go on to here was Stephen Ward. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Good, good old Irish man who's really pushed his career and really reinvented himself. Yeah, reinvented himself. Like if you look at the the, the 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 great stuff going forward from Rose, Alonso, Bertrand, Baines has been great defensively, but like in terms of interceptions, blocks, clearances, Ward has done much better than all of them in yeah. those in those well, senses. When he came when he came into Brandy, uh, Joey Barton actually came out and said that uh, when he came in, he turned it all around, and then he was one of the key factors to them getting promoted. Yeah. And then uh, it's just gone from strength to strength at the moment. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's another thing that kind of goes unnoticed, like with Tom Heaton, that uh, you know, uh, and uh, Smith off off Bournemouth. He's not, they go under the radar because they're not playing at the top clubs, like uh, yeah. in the top half, and. That's I I just don't get the press that they deserve, but I mean the stats don't lie really. So yeah, no, I completely yeah. agree. Another one that I would I would be thinking as well. Um, he I know he only came in now in January was Martin Olsen gone to Norwich from Norwich to Swansea. I think he's, well, he's more of a winger. Yeah, he well he plays forward. he plays a lot more forward. He plays that kind of Rose Alonso role, but he is great going forward and he is a good defender. I was shocked that he actually went back down to the championship. That no one took a punt on him. Well, obviously Swansea, but like no one took a punt on him in the transfer window last last summer. Yeah. I don't really rate him. I think he he's he's had done 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 great things. Look, right for Norwich and was one of the standout players in their their two seasons of Premiership. Well, if you know, if if we feel like if anyone feels like we've left anybody out, do let us know because uh, as you say, it is the fans' team of the year, and we want to have as many of you guys involved as we can. Yeah, things are starting to shape up nicely now. We're we're starting to get the the wing backs in. We will now get on to the the centre halves in the next one, which yeah. will be an interesting one. There's a few contenders for that. Exactly. Well, uh, if you want to get involved, just leave some comments uh, down below there, and make sure you hit that like and subscribe button as well, please. Yeah, don't forget to tag your friends if, if any of your friends like football and and they want to get involved. I mean, the voting's out. Uh, um, the voting's open to anybody, so feel free to come on and and comment. I mean, it's what we want you to do. Perfect. Thanks, William, for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.